Welcome to Keep It Simple. I am your host, Jondrea Reynolds, and today we will be discussing relationship issues. I have with me Kyrie, Hello. Asar, and Ishmael. The first question I have, it will go to you, Kyrie. Okay. What is the most important aspect of a relationship? Communication. Communication is the most important um, thing to get you through the day-by-day -day turmoil, the issues or whatsoever, and just uh, make a brighter tomorrow, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so that's the most important thing for me is communication. Um, a lot of relationships, I haven't had communications, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, a lot of times in one of my prior relationships, I didn't have communication, and I thought that was really the way to be. I felt like if we didn't have communication, we were like minds, basically. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to say anything like, okay, you didn't need that, I don't need that, we're, we're cool and we can be peaceful. But mm -hmm. things arise and there's things on your mind or whatsoever, really to grow, you got to communicate. So, mm -hmm. you know, I find that a, a relationship that I communicate with, it helps me out, develop me into more of the type of person I want to be. And also it keeps the relationship in, in some type of uh, uh, direction that's going forward. So in your current relationship, do you feel you guys have open communication? Yes, I, I learned that from my relationship. That's where I got it from, was my relationship. Because like I said, in the, prior, in the past, I had a relationship that it wasn't about talking. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, we was on the same level, was, uh, we were on the same like minds, whatever. Um, and, and a whole lot of things went without say. Mm -hmm. This new relationship, if it's, if it's um, issues or whatsoever, we just talk about it, you know what I'm saying? And that communication finds a way. And um, that's really what everybody needs in their life, communication. Because communication is, is the answer for everything. It's a way to say any and everything to make it accessible and, and correct. And if you say it wrong, so my, my thing is with us as a people, uh, the, the black population, we talk to people wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, just when you say hello to somebody, they, you might take it wrong. And they didn't mean it to be offensive. Mm -hmm. But we say it so hard. Or we, we say our, our, our sentence so hard and we don't end it in a, in, a, in a manner that it's a question or answer period for the next person to pick up and respond. We say it and then it's like that's the end of whatever the comment is. And a lot of times people in their mind don't want you to respond to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's not correct communication. Right. So, so right. communication, I'm really learning what communication is, mm -hmm. how to make it work. And that's kind of one of the... the the highlights of the relationship that I'm in now. She's teaching oh, okay. me how to communicate and work out issues that's been obstacles in my life. Oh, okay, well, that's good to hear. Asar, this question is for you. What's more important to you in a relationship, intimacy or sex? Intimacy. And why is that? Well, because um, <clears throat> intimacy, uh, With intimacy, it, it basically it builds uh, it builds basically everything that brother Kyrie was talking about. It builds the uh, foundation for a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's how you actually get to know one another, their uh, their likes and their dislikes. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you get into their mind. You know, um, it's really not any uh, BS that comes with intimacy. You're actually um, you letting your guards down. You know that's when you uh, have your inner self. Is, is when you're intimate. You know, um, a lot of people think that um, intimacy has to deal with sex, but it, it actually doesn't. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's you know touching someone, caressing them, kissing them, you know, just holding them. You know, watching a movie with somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, anything is 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 an intimate moment when you're just sharing that time with that person by themselves, you know, um, you can overdo it by spending too much time with somebody, mm -hmm. you know, you have to, uh, you have to have your, your me time, mm -hmm. you know, your alone time, you know, you got to have time with your boys, got to mm -hmm. have time, ladies got to have time with their girls, you know, um, that's, that's intimacy as well, mm -hmm. you know, because when you're with your boys, when you're with your girls, you talk about your relationship, right. you know, and when you're talking about your relationship, when you're with your, your boys or your girls, um, you think about what you love about them more. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're talking, you, you know, you might talk about 
a situation that y'all went through that you might not like, but then you think about the good things you might you mm-hmm. might like about them as well, and that's intimacy, right? You know, and then when you come back with that person, that thought you might had, you know, surfaces, mm-hmm. and you, you know, you become one with them again. You know, that's the the evenly yoked that the Bible speaks about. You know, mm-hmm. the, the intimacy. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for that. Ishmael, this question is for you. Define a successful relationship. Wow. Successful relationship. Well, for me, um, I would have to say a successful relationship would, would, you know, I wish you would kind of had asked me the question about intimacy, right? Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, there's a lot that goes that goes along with intimacy, you know, um, because with intimacy, you have to, you know, you're, you're afforded the opportunity to reach a certain level of trust, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, a certain level of being like-minded, like, like, uh, you know, was talking about, um, you know, you know, when it comes to su- a successful, you know, because everybody has their own different ideas of what a relationship is all about anyway. So um, let's just speak right? about your relationship from your perspective. You mean my current relationship? Correct. Um, what do you think you and her need to do to make it successful? And what would define it as being successful? Hmm. Well, um, you know, first of all, we have to be on the same page. Mm-hmm. We have to both kind of want the same thing. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, because if she's just trying to, you know, uh, just be for the moment, be in a for the moment situation, Mm -hmm. or actually trying to get to certain levels in the relationship, then, you know, and and I'm trying to, you know, trying to get to a certain place in the relationship, you know, and not just trying to be stagnant in the relationship, Mm -hmm. then we're like, we're kind of on two different pages, right? right? But, um, you know, in, in my current you know the current relationship that I'm in today um, you know um, there's challenges Mm -hmm. you know there's definitely challenges Mm -hmm. you know um, because we um, you know we want the same thing but a lot of times we don't agree on how to get to the the same place where we're both trying to get okay you know Mm -hmm. um, so far successful we mm-hmm. still together, mm-hmm. you know, and um, you know it's it's really hard to remember the whole idea of that. Um, and you know, I you know my mom used to always say one of her favorite you know my mom was full of sayings and <laughs> one of her favorite sayings was that anything worthwhile is is not you know any anything worthwhile you're gonna have to work hard for it. right you know and if it's not. And, and if you don't have to work hard for it, then it's not worthwhile. Right. You know, and it's not going to be anything that's going to last. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and, and, and this, you know, and in this relation, this current relationship, it's like it's really hard to remember that for mm-hmm. me because um, it's a lot of work. Right. It's a lot right. of work. Right. It's a lot right. of work. Right. right. And, um, but, uh, you know, like I said, so far it's, it's successful. You know, it's, it's, you mm-hmm. know and, and, I, and I believe that I, you know, I believe that, um, you know, like I said, we're both pretty much on the same page as far as where we would like to go in this relationship. Mm-hmm. It's not, you know, this is not, I mean, you know, because I'm kind of much, pretty much an older dude, you know, mm-hmm. I'm, not, I'm not 25, I'm closer to 50 than I am 25. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And, um, you, know, uh, you, know, I, you know, I think as individuals, your, your views about, you know, the world and what you would like Mm -hmm. as far as what you want your life to look like Mm -hmm. change. Right. You know, a little bit when you get a little bit older. Right. And um, that certainly has happened for me. And, and, um, you know, I just don't want the same thing today that I wanted when I was 25. Right. 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 And so, um, you know, and and my view about relationships have changed. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a lot more settled Mm -hmm. than I was, you Mm -hmm. know, when I was younger. And so, you know, I, 
you know, I just, the, the simple things, like mm -hmm. the real simple things just like really, really, really mean so much to me today when mm -hmm. before they just didn't. I, you know, I couldn't see them. Right. I, I, want right. To, I want to build off of something that he had brought up. Okay. As far as how long and how much you have to work in the relationship. See, I have to be honest with myself because I look at it at some points. I know I got to work. My whole thing was, I, I was the one to chase this young lady, okay? I've been with in my, my relationship about a year now. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been a true year that, that she's been my woman, mm -hmm. but I've been chasing her for a year, mm -hmm. you know? La her last birthday, um, we were just getting together and her birthday came across again. So I know I've been trying to chase this lady, make her my woman and and get a lifestyle and for, for our life to start coming together, mm -hmm. right? But the question in the back of my mind, and this is a, a real legit question is, how long can I continue to chase you mm -hmm. and deal with issues or whatsoever it is that normally maybe I might not do, I, I might not want it, I might not deal with, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It gets to a point that it's like, okay, after a year, some of these issues should be resolved. Right. You know, and it gets to that point, how long am I going to go ahead and say, okay, well, it's not there yet. I'm going to still be the bigger guy. I'm going to show you who I am, what I can bring to the, to the board, what I offer, and we'll overcome whatever issues we have or I'm in a position trying to overcome that. It gets to the point I have to be honest with myself. And I, I, I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, TDO, how long are you going to be able to do that? You know, one weekend I might wait. I'm like, P uh, do it. and that's when we break up. Mm -hmm. We break up when, when I do that. I'm like, hey, you know what? <laughs> this weekend I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. Okay. Yeah, right. Just like uh, last night. Now when I went with the fellas last night, that's 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 a problem mm -hmm. in our relationship. Right. But I went ahead and I did that. Mm -hmm. But on my like-minded thing, just like Ish was talking about, mm -hmm. I would have did that. Right. I wouldn't have did that. I would have had my black butt with her or way howsoever it was I would have had that time open for her mm -hmm. and that opposite and it would have been different okay. it would have been different okay so listening to what you're saying another question comes to mind so I'll direct this to you Azar how important is compromise to you in a relationship compromise is important because um, <clears throat> if if she wants to do something and I'm not with it she might get upset and that starts an argument or you know, a confrontation. And um, same thing goes for me. If I want to do something and she doesn't, is not with it, you know, of course I'm going to get upset, but mm -hmm. it's not going to start an argument because I already know if I get upset and mad, it's going to start an argument. So mm -hmm. I just kind of just let it go. But um, when you're in a relationship, you always have to compromise with the other person mm -hmm. because uh, there's, there's always a give and take, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I have to give something and, and she has to give something. You know, that's that's what builds, you know, the trust and, and, and the, uh, the communication. Trust, that's, a, you that, know, that, that's you a key word, trust. You gotta have that in a relationship. You know, okay. without the communication, trust, and the compromise, mm -hmm. there can't be no relationship. I think one of the big things that, that, um, that can be really devastating to relationships and that really seem to get in the way is that you know, because a lot of people seem to think that, because I hear it all the time, that, you know, you, you're, apparently you're supposed to just, like, let women just be right all the time. Uh, right? That's what you hear. Yeah, you hear that. Well, at least I do. I hear yeah. it a lot. Like, uh -huh. You know, like, you ever heard the joke, like, either you want to be right or you're going to be happy. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can't have both. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, um, pride and ego goes both ways. Right. It goes both ways. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's... There's a lot of prideful, you know, women mm -hmm. with, with huge egos, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of prideful men with huge egos and, and a lot of pride, right? right? And, um, you know, that, that, you cannot allow that to get into the center of a relationship. Right. You can't allow that to dominate, you know, compromise. Mm -hmm. You know, because there's no compromise when you, when you leading with your pride or you leading with some e your ego or whatever, there's no compromise. Mm -hmm. And so that makes it, you know, that makes it even harder, like when situations or issues come up mm -hmm. to communicate. It gets right in the middle of communication. Mm -hmm. You know, um, <laughs> I've been involved with females that they don't, you know, like when you have a, uh, 
when you you know like when you have a, a, a situation or whatever that you need to work out or whatever whatever it's like you you know it's really hard to work that out when you don't fight fair mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know when you don't fight fair when you real when you're manipulative mm -hmm. when you when you discuss the situation mm -hmm. you know I've ran I've run into that a lot you know a lot of females like to uh, you know manipulate the mm -hmm. situation the, the conversation mm -hmm. you know and like say stuff that don't even make sense they mm -hmm. always do you know what I mean yeah. and that's like but it's like you know people tend to think that they do that in an unconscious uh, like they're unconscious of what they're doing but I don't, I don't I gotta disagree with that it's like so as far as the manipulation aspect can you detail that a little more could you give me an example um wow I'll give you an example okay say that you're talking about okay well Pedro was talking mm -hmm. to uh, talking about a situation he was in or whatever about going out mm -hmm. and and uh, you know we wanted to spend time mm -hmm. together that night mm -hmm. or whatever, and you wanted to go out mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Twist that changes up totally. Yeah, uh, yeah. when she tells the story. Hold on, hold on, let, let When she tell, <laughs> let me tell the story. If he told me, same story. Right. Be, okay, but right. finish. What were you saying? So I mean, if you're talking about okay, when you're talking, when you trying to work out a, 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 a disagreement mm -hmm. or whatever. You have to keep it on the subject what you're talking about. Oh, okay. I you cannot, you in the Bring middle of talking about stuff. the subject, turn it into something. Now we're talking okay. about something okay. else. Okay. Okay. And it's like it seems like it's I don't know it's like women they do that okay. a lot. Okay. And it's like and it's like you're supposed to like accept that because that's what they do, right? No, oh, no, okay. you can't accept that because that don't make no sense. Okay. It's like if we're trying to work out something, it's mm -hmm. like. Keep it on what stick we're talking on the, about. Stay on the issue. Right? Okay. How can you work out an issue if you're not sticking on okay. it? Okay. Okay. So that I makes mean, sense. I mean, it's like, and and, it, and that that whole thing just goes back to the whole pride and ego thing, man. Mm -hmm. It's like you have to be able to put that stuff aside and work out what you need to work out. Okay, you know? I have a question for each of you. It's a simple yes or no response, and then after you each give me your response, I would like you to answer the second part of the question. Okay. So I will start with Kylie. Have you ever cheated in any of your relationships? Huh? Have you ever cheated <laughs> in any of your relationships? <coughs> right. Yes or no? Yes, I have. Okay, Azar, have you ever cheated in any of your relationships? Yes. Okay, Ishmael, have you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so the second part of the question is, how do you feel that once you cheat, that you can get past that in a relationship? Mm. So I'll start with you, Kylie. Well, you know, this right here, uh, the relationship, it depends on where you're at with the relationship. You might be in a relationship that you're trying to get out of okay. or whatsoever. You know, you really have to dictate and, and, and say and really be honest with yourself, mm -hmm. you know. Um, the relationship I'm in right now, I, don't, I have, haven't cheated on her because mm -hmm. I don't want to go there with it. I know that's going to do nothing but open up. Uh, uh, Pandora's box, right. you know what I'm saying? It's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. Right. So if we're going to get to that point, and, and me and my young lady, we always talk about it. If it's going to get to, for one, within this one year, my understanding, and this is where we see what you were just talking about, my understanding was totally wrong mm -hmm. <laughs> about what, what it's going to take for our relationship to break up. I had the under, underneath the understanding that our relationship is going to break up if we have um if we mess with somebody else mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. that was kind of what i thought that was the the bottom the line basis, right? the bottom line mm -hmm. of us breaking up so if she did that it was a wrap if i did that it was a wrap i actually had that understanding mm -hmm. you know until we broke up beside for some other reason besides mm -hmm. that right, you know right, right. <laughs> then, then i'm like wait a minute i'm thinking wrong about this right, you know what i'm saying right. so that all that right there is part of, of the communication of it mm -hmm. and part of where that relationship is you know I, I value that woman and I understand that I'm trying to be with her so I'm not gonna cheat on her. right you know and vice versa mm -hmm. because we already set that standard up and like okay bottom line if that stuff happened right here if it's somebody else bottom line we don't even need to talk about it or anything right. it's a wrap right. you know what I'm saying I right. understood that but like I said we end up breaking up uh, uh, me not being being there at a certain time mm -hmm. or what what little small mm -hmm. stuff that you know, I really wasn't on the same page with. So, um, 
you know, I know I'm I'm going on and I'm going on about a whole lot of other things, but the bottom line is, as far as cheating, it's an individual thing, you know. And if you cheat on if you cheating on your woman, you don't need to be with her. Bottom line, right. you know what I'm saying? We we're all too old for that. And even if you're a young man or a young woman, that's not the type of life or, or the type of relationship that you're really looking for. If you if you're out there cheating on somebody. Let it just be that right there. Be a friend friend to that person or whatsoever because it's, it's so much life to live and the right woman is going to present herself in a way that you don't want to do that and vice versa. The right man is going to present her, himself to a woman that she's not going to want to do that. When you start wanting to do that right there, it's kind of, you know, because you can't control a person and you shouldn't want right, to control a person. Right. If that's what they want to do, if that's the type of person that they're showing that they are, back it up. Right. Let them be that whatsoever. And, um, and, and just give it more time. Give it more time. And, and another important thing, like I said, I've been dating my girl for a year. And every time I come up with issues that make me contemplate, okay, do I need to keep on going on this with this or mm -hmm. not? Um, whatsoever the issue is, I also think about the positive and the negative. And the negative is that you're not my wife. Mm -hmm. I can't be asking too much. Right. Actually, you know what I'm saying? If, you hang, if you're hanging out whatsoever, with your girlfriends whatsoever, a whole lot of that stuff you have to accept and you have to look at yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because she's not your wife. So a whole lot of different things. A whole lot of the problems that I have where I realize when I ask that question, I'm like, you know what? PDO, you're asking too much again. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're, asking, you're looking for too much again. You know what I'm saying? Because the simple fact is not your, your wife, whatever it is. I might be talking about the way the household treats me or what's mm -hmm. why I come over. What, whatever the thing is. But when I look at it, once again, it's me overstepping my boundaries because you treat me fairly and all those different things. It's just that I'm probably want, wanting more from you mm -hmm. or looking for more from you or mm -hmm. looking for a certain answer out of you. And I have to really uh, I, I look at myself on that because everything was fine the way it is. And not like I got big problems with you. It's just that my, my mental start working on something uh, um, that I perceive mm -hmm. and we didn't perceive it together. And, and like I said, when, when, once I start looking at that and I start controlling my own emotions, I'm like, you know what? I'm asking for too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because last last week it wasn't a problem. I was getting what whatever I was getting out of that situation. Now, whatever, I might want a house key. I'm like, well, well I don't get a house key. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm stepping up. Well, I'm just saying right. that at the end of the night when you look at that, it'll be like, once again, Kyrie, you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, Azar, how would you feel that in a relationship – you're able to get past the cheating. Um, <clears throat> that that's that's uh, we're, yeah, that's, that's that's a hard one. Um, mm -hmm. The only way you can get past that is is by trusting. Mm -hmm. You know, um, of course, there's going to be a lot of uh, insecurity after that, after mm -hmm. that point, because you're not knowing if uh, uh, if the phone's ringing, if it's another guy on the phone, or if text messages coming in, somebody mm -hmm. texting, or, you know, uh, going to the store, you've gone too long, mm -hmm. you know, you're meeting up with somebody, or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, those are the things that might be playing out in your head, but um, then the, the individual person has to think, you know, um, you know, he's given too much time and energy towards something that he shouldn't really be concentrating on if that person wants to do that, because like, you know, uh, PDO said, you know, you can't control the other person what they do. Right. You know, um, once the person walks out that door, you know, I can't be, old, mm -hmm. you know, watching them, mm -hmm. seeing what they're doing all the time because I got to go handle my business. Right. You know, so um, it comes with trust. You know, you, you have to sit down <clears throat> with the person and, mm -hmm. and, and have to come up with some kind of guidelines or, or something to say, okay, mm -hmm. You're not going to do this and I'm not going to do this because, you know, my feelings are involved just like yours. Mm -hmm. You know, I could do something to you and that'll hurt you just mm -hmm. like you could do something to me that'll hurt me. Yeah. You know, so the two people have to sit down and think about that two thing, those two things. You mm -hmm. know, do I want to hurt you and do you want to hurt me? Which, of course, I know I don't want to hurt mm -hmm. and I know that you don't want to hurt. Mm -hmm. So that's where that understanding and that compromise and that trust comes in all in at the same time. Right. You know, and you just have to trust that they don't do that no more. Mm -hmm. You know, just like they have to trust you, you won't do it no more. Right. You know, right. it's like that that thin that 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 thin line. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you just never know. Right. 
Ishmael, how would you get past cheating in a relationship? Well, I'm gonna kind of open it up a little bit because mm -hmm. you know I, I have I have different uh, you know there's there's different definitions of cheating to me. Cheating mm -hmm. is just not just getting in bed and doing something physical, mm -hmm. you know. Right. Because um, you know you can uh, violate you, you can violate certain certain you know certain uh, you know certain levels of intimacy mm -hmm. just with conversation. Okay. Right. For for example, um, you know, if my girl got three four guys or whatever that's like interested in her, mm -hmm. right? And you know she's you know giving her numbers out like it's just friends. These are just my friends, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But she knows that they're interested in right. her. Right. Go on. Let me finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. And more than more than just friends, mm -hmm. right? And so she's entertaining conversations with them, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that she's in a relationship. But she's inter entertaining conversation about being other than being uh, you know something other than just friends, mm -hmm. constantly, mm -hmm. constantly, right? <coughs> you're cheating. Okay. You're cheating. Okay. You know, you're cheating. See, because for me, it's like those conversations are supposed to be for your mate. Mm -hmm. Those those types of conversations, those intimate conversations, mm -hmm. are supposed to be for your mate, not mm -hmm. for not for everybody. Right. They're not for everybody. Okay. You know. So you know, for me, there's other level. There's other levels of cheating. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and because personally, I don't I don't do that. I don't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. I don't do that. Um. But for me, as far as like the whole physical cheating and uh, you know, and the sexual things, uh, that's damn near impossible to get past. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes a lot of. I mean, relationships themselves are already really complicated. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, like really, you know, just a lot of twists and turns and stuff. And um, you know, without because it's like without you know i think one of the foundations one of the biggest parts of the foundation of a relationship is trust and if that trust is broken it's like how do you get that back how do you really get that back like mm -hmm. for real like really right i mean how do you get the idea of this thing has happened out the back of somebody's subconscious right mm -hmm. how do you do that so it's like damn near impossible mm -hmm. so i mm -hmm. you know for me you know, and and you know, I, I think for me, just for me, right? I'm I'm like one of those guys that's like, um, I'm I'm a real romantic, right? You know, and so, no, I am, I am. We like know, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a real we romantic, know. right? And so, <laughs> like, you know, for my girl to cheat on me would be like the kind of like kill the magic of our relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. really, like like that glow, that that thing that would that we had. It's like you just destroyed it. It's over for me. If you, you destroyed it. If you go to bed with somebody else, it's a wrap. You don't even come <laughs> back to me. And vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, like I said, that that's where our relationship started. That that was the, the starting platform of it. Okay, we already know we're trying to come together like mine. Now, dealing with what you're talking about, dudes, always trying to talk. I got uh, uh, a young lady. Every time she step out, dudes going to walk her to the to the bus stop, wherever she's going, going to walk her to the store. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, I, I, I can sit down, we can we can go sit on the porch and watch this happen right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a reality. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's how come I said I have to look at things and that can't be the reason why me and my girl break up because somebody going to try to holler at right. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they'll do that all day long trying to make us break no, up. No, no, no. You know it's not. It's but not. On, on vice versa, I'm the same way. That's how come we kind of, we kind of like minds together because she's an attractive young lady, you know, I'm I'm very popular out here in Long Beach, you know. I'm doing I do, do the music and all that stuff, so I'm very popular. So, you know, we have friends and things like that, but we we are choosing to be together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And conversations or whatsoever, you know, that right there really doesn't come into our relationship. We make time for each other. My or we trump each other and all that. Or we trump trump anybody that's uh trying to be involved with anything you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying but it's a reality people gonna talk if it's a beautiful woman people gonna try to push up on her mm -hmm. they're gonna try to buy her drinks whatever it is mm -hmm. take her to lunch i'll be having you know, all this shit mama can buy her lunch and all kind of different stuff but it's this is what the reality is you well, know I, what i'm saying i just want to i do well, i just don't want to be confused with what i was saying like i, I don't have the problem with you know I, you know i don't want nobody that nobody else don't want that's right first off that's mm -hmm. right right so, um, 
I don't have problems with my with my girl having male friends. I don't. That's that's not my issue. My issue is when you entertain certain conversations. That's my, my well, issue. Well, for one, you wouldn't even know that. No, that's but no, I right. wouldn't. No, right. I wouldn't. No, but, but just, he's just saying I'm that just it's saying. different levels of cheating, which was you know what we were. Right. No, I wouldn't to. know. Yeah. No, I wouldn't know. Right. No, right. I wouldn't know. So but once just, again, we have to accept and do some trust in it. Right. There's got to be a trust factor in it. You know. Right. And my thing is with my girl. And I'm pretty sure everybody up here completely trusts their their lady. Else, you couldn't even be talking about mm-hmm. it. I completely trust her, regardless of what anything else. Nobody has ever came back to me and say, "Hey, I saw your woman with somebody." They might say they saw whatever, but it ain't she been with somebody else? Mm-hmm. It is it's nothing over the limit. <laughs> now people will come and tell tell me anything. I mean, they will come and try to try to. Uh, uh, Break up the relationship, <laughs> mm-hmm. and say, I, we're, 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 but ain't nobody said they saw my woman with a dude. Mm-hmm. Not, not, nothing over the limit. You understand mm-hmm. I me? Mean? And mm-hmm. in that right there, that's really the basis of what my trust is. Okay. Because on the sidebars, when, when you hear things in the huddle, it's like, oh man, she hanging out. Oh, you know this, man. There's no facts or premise to that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I have to stand up for my woman mm-hmm. and. And, and that's kind of what you have to do in a relationship mm-hmm. because it's so many, the majority of the world don't have a relationship and not trying to be involved with a relationship, mm-hmm. you know. So if you're trying to do that, you have to stand up for your woman mm-hmm. and you have to stand up for your man, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, and, and, and that right there is the unit and the bond that you're building. And when you start standing up for them, then you can start building and, and going down the road together. Okay. I think, I think, I'm just going to say this real quick. Um, I think that... Um, Trust is something that has to be earned, mm-hmm. right? And it's not something that happens overnight. Um, the you know the particular relationship that I'm in, I'm you know I've been in, we've been together almost a year, um, and, and we ain't there. We're not there. Question: When did you start trusting? Wait, wait, wait! Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm okay. not trying to trump nothing you're no, saying, no, brother. We're just talking, okay? Right. I'm, I'm not trying to trump nothing you're saying. Mm-hmm. I'm just this is just for me. Right. right this is right, just right. for me. Mm-hmm. You know, you feel the way you feel, and I I respect that, mm-hmm. right? But for me, it's like. This is, you know, trust is something that has to be built up, mm-hmm. right? So I'm not going to say I completely trust my girl. No, I'm not going to say that. No. Mm-hmm. And she don't completely trust me. <laughs> Come on now. Mm-hmm. But we but we have been able to stay together because we're working toward mm-hmm. building a certain level of trust, mm-hmm. right? But there have been some things that she she probably don't like about what she see, but what I do. And there have been some things that she, I see about what she do that I don't like. Mm-hmm. And it kind of like... You know, kind of like, it, it, you know, it interferes with getting to that place of complete trust that you're talking about. We're not there. Now, I mean, that, I, you're there. I'm, that's great. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad you're there. But we ain't there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, um, well, 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 being, being that um, I've been with my relationship, you know, longer, for 10 years. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm married. Um, in the relationship we had, um, trust had... had been broken mm-hmm. and uh, we're working toward building the trust back mm-hmm. you know and uh, working on that is is a challenge in mm-hmm. itself you know um, because you know I've done some things in a relationship she's done some things in a relationship but at the end of the day you know you have to think about okay is this the person that I want to be with mm-hmm. you know and she has to do the same thing you know because um you have to take a, a deeper look in, you know, the reason why you want to be with that person. Mm-hmm. You know, it can't it can't be about sex mm-hmm. because after a while, that's gone. Right. You know, so it has to be uh, something deeper than just sex. Mm-hmm. You know, it has to be uh, your likes. You know, things that you both like to do. You know, uh, a lifestyle or something. You know. Um, Different businesses. If 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 you're um, a person that um, wants to build a business with one another, because a relationship is is it's a uh, it's a business deal. Basically, it's. I mean, if you look at it, it's really brokered into a business deal. Explain that. You to know, me. well, you yeah. have you have. Um, yes, sir. You know, you can have, you know, um, two owners. Mm-hmm. You know, um, going into a business, and and you can call the business called a relationship. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, you have two co-owners coming together to have one mutual business, which is called a relationship. You have to build build that. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't just start a business overnight. You know, it, it takes time to build it. Mm-hmm. You know, and when taking time to build the relationship, it's the trust. 
It's the, uh, the compromise. It's the uh, uh, um, building the family, you know, because when you're with your mate, you know, your old family, your blood family isn't your family no more. You know, they're the, the uh, 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 they, what they call it? The, uh, the, you know, they're, they're, they're not your immediate family anymore. You know, that family yeah, home. you know, basically, you, you, uh, because when you with your woman, that becomes your new family. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like the Bible says, you know, uh, when, when you become married to your woman, your, your mother, and your, your, your father, you know, you're supposed to uh, move away from them. You know, you're not you're not supposed to look for them for guidance anymore. You know, you're supposed to look toward your woman for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, just like your woman's supposed to look toward you for everything. You know, that's. What the what the the business deal is about, you know, and once you build your business, it becomes a successful business. Just like you were talking about, what's a successful relationship? Mm -hmm. You know, the same thing that goes into a relationship is the same thing that goes into a business. You know, you got to have the trust. You got to trust your business partner. You know, with your money. Mm -hmm. You know, you you got to trust them with uh, uh, different business deals. You know, because they might want to make a business deal on the side, which is the cheating on the side. Mm -hmm. You know, to go and start something else. Okay. You know, it's, it's the same thing. So my last question, Ishmael, how important are finances in a relationship? Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you this, the older you get, the more important they become. You know, um, you know because I remember when I was younger, mm. you know, I just going to the movies or just being able to do something like really small, like going to the skating ring or something like that, you know, that was everything, you know, mm -hmm. it, you didn't, but like the older you get, you wanted to be able to do more stuff and you're responsible for more stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and I, you know, I, I think that um, it's important, but it's not probably the most important thing, mm -hmm. you know? Um, you know, um, I've heard it said that, <laughs> I heard one female put it like this, that, that, you know, I, you know, a lot of times my level of being able to fall in love depends upon where, where you at financially. No, I've actually heard that said, right? Mm, okay. And, um, you know, she's like, I'm just, you know, it, it, money is what moves me. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. because I like I like things, I like nice things, mm -hmm. I like to go places, and all this, you know, takes money. Mm -hmm. So, I get it, mm -hmm. I get it, I totally get it. But um, I think that that you have to keep finances in in perspective. Mm -hmm. You have to keep them in perspective. You have to, um, you know, for me, it's like. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm a little bit older and there's some things that I want to do with my life and there's some things that I want to be able to share with my mate. Mm -hmm. You know, some experiences that I'd like to be able to have with my mate, you know, like travel and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it takes money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'd like to be able to buy a home one day. I'd like mm -hmm. to be able to get married and buy a home mm -hmm. one day, you know, and, and, and do some things. And all that is de all dependent upon finances, right? Right. So, um, you know, it's important, but... I th you know, like I said, I, th I believe that for me, there's things that are a little bit more important than finances. And, and I think that matters of the heart um, kind of trump finances a little bit. Okay. Um, Tyrese, yeah. how important are finances to you in a relationship? Um, I believe that each, re each relationship is different and unique in itself. And um. In that situation, I believe you more so have to be evenly, evenly yoked again, mm -hmm. okay? Because a whole lot of that cheating comes across because somebody is trying to offer them uh, a, a lovely night, okay? Mm -hmm. And they, they buy on that night, but the only way they're offering a lovely night or whatsoever it is, it, it, they're going to, for, for somebody to want to cheat on you or some guy or a woman to cheat on you, they're offering most likely some materialistic things. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's uh, uh, evening, spending a couple of dollars or whatsoever, or, or going somewhere. Anywhere it goes, they're willing to spend something, mm -hmm. right? And, and that right there is what it's gonna take, a relationship. So if you're in a relationship and 
I'm saying you got to be evenly yoked. You got some money, and she don't have money, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be problems. Mm -hmm. Vice versa. If she got money, you don't have money. It's going to be problems because you're going to have these, these outside forces because you're not evenly yoked. Somebody else is going to talk about just going to dinner. We're talking about just going to lunch, mm -hmm. okay? We're talking about just going to the store. All this little bitty stuff, but in between, we already talked about these conversations that th these little these little moments away, and, and the next person trying to to get at her and saying different things and and, and cheating in the conversation, okay. you know, and that right there just opens it up. Why? Because it's no evenly yoked situation between your relationship, mm -hmm. you and the woman. If, if both of y'all don't have your own little money or whatsoever that y'all can come together, and it doesn't take a lot if both of y'all got a little bit of something, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But a whole lot of scenarios, um, a whole lot of scenarios, you're not evenly yoked like that. Somebody's got some money, and then, like, like the gentleman uh, Ishmael was just talking about, some women fall in love to the degree that, and vice versa, guys also, mm -hmm. because they can, they can do a whole lot of different things, you know, they're getting out the house whatsoever. Matter of fact, they might even be paying their house bill mm -hmm. by, by, the money that's, that's coming in whatsoever. So it's a realistic uh, issue, you know, in the world, money is a realistic issue, period. And when you get to the point that we're at, more closer to 50-ish than 25, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to have some money, bottom line. And you're not gonna keep a woman if you ain't got no woman, money. Well, bottom line, uh, um, and vice versa, I don't think a, a, a woman's gonna end up keeping a man. Right. For the simple fact, it's too many too many people out there. For one, you gotta you gotta struggle too much to try to make a relationship work, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're not coming to the plate and all this different stuff, everybody have financial issues. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much the man's giving you, he's gonna have some issues. You know what I'm saying? You might not see it. He might not be showing you that he's got issues, and vice versa. I don't care how much she's giving you, hey, she's still having some type of issues because we none of us are rich like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that you, you're gonna have to, in, in order for a relationship to really work, you gotta be somewhat evenly yoked. Now, if you don't have no money and she don't have no money, boom, y'all are kind of close on that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all over there drinking. Y'all over there. Y'all over there drinking thunder, thunderbolt. Fuck around with PDO. You know what I mean? PDO for you. You bro, you gonna be drinking some of this hot thunderbolt or whatsoever? I'm just saying, it's different levels. It's some real stuff. You know? Okay, I'm sorry. How important are finances to you in a relationship? You know, finances are very important because. Um, I'm pretty sure that these two brothers can um, relate to this. Um, we grew up at a time when um, we seen our fathers taking care of the home. Mm -hmm. You know, the mothers being at home, uh, taking care of the house. So with that mind frame, you know, we grew up thinking, okay, we gotta go out and get a job, take care of the home, to be the man of the home. And um, that's where I stand, you know, I'm trying to, you know, um, be the man of the house, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Like every man, every man wants to uh, shower his woman with, with gifts. Uh, he wants to uh, be able to go take his kids here or there, buy clothes for them, buy a house, mm -hmm. you know, buy a new car. You know, um, every man wants to do that. You know, that's what makes a man feel like a man, mm -hmm. is being able to, to, to go and do what he wants to do when he wants to do it. You know, but when... When, when, when we're hampered and not able to do that, it makes us feel less than a man half the time. You know, especially when we have our woman or somebody in our ear telling us we're less than because we can't do, you know, our manly obligations. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of makes, you know, makes us feel kind of like, man, you know, I wish I had that money so I could do that. Mm -hmm. You know, so finances plays a big part, you know, and like it said, you know, when we were younger, yeah, we could take a girl to the park, you know, walk in the park or walk in the, at the beach, you know, and that was everything, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, just sit and just watch the sun go down, you know, we're, we're, we're probably uh, back then it was Cisco, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, or some, you know, or, or some Super Sasco and gin, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, uh, back uh, then, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, something uh, cheap, cheap drink, you know, yeah. something cheap, you know, yeah. and, and, and women was cool with that. You know, nowadays, you know, we got all these rappers flow showing with diamonds and all these women, these cars and, and all, you know, mansions. So these younger women nowadays thinking, okay, that's, that's how I'm supposed to live. You know, in actuality, you know, when we were younger, we lived humbly. You know, we didn't have the, 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 uh, uh, the 20 inch rims and, you know, the Versace watches and, you know, all these expensive clothes to wear. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't about 
that then. You know, it was about, you know, us being together, the struggle that we were in as a people. You know, we got away from what really mattered to us the most is being together, you know, as a, a community. You know, it once was a time when kids were raised by the community. You know, we're not raised by the community no more. You know, and that's mm. because of finances. You know, the head of the household is taken out of the household now, which is the man. You know, in, a, in the Bible states, you know, it goes God, Jesus, man, woman, child, community. Mm -hmm. You know, somewhere in there, the string got broken. You know, the man is, is out, of, out of the loop now. You know, it goes how society got it written now. It goes God, Jesus, woman, man, children, you know, and see the, the places of the man roles got switched. Mm -hmm. You know, women are treating us like like women now instead of men. You know, we don't get the respect no more. We get talked to like we're nothing. You know, women feel like, okay, well, I don't need a man no more. Let me go get a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, where did this become, you know, flip up at, you know, and all that because of the finances. You know, the woman can't go in and depend on a man to help pay the bills or, or uh, uh, can live off of the man no more because the man don't have a job. Mm -hmm. You know, so she, then she goes out of her race. She goes to a, a white man or Hispanic man. You know, because the black man or the African man doesn't have the finances to sustain himself. Mm -hmm. You know, so half men can't even go get a burger half the time, you know, and that's just a dollar, you know, because, you know, hardly no jobs. But then a lot of the jobs get taken out because of, uh, of um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, what's that? Um, uh, uh, they, they, they keep us working. Uh, uh, what did they take away? Um, affirmative, affirmative action. action. You know, we don't even have affirmative action no more. So they don't have to hire black people or people of color no more. Mm -hmm. It's whoever they want in that position, that job, is the person they, they're going to hire. Well, gentlemen, I would like to thank you for taking time out of your day today and sitting down and answering these questions. All of your responses are very insightful, and I can say for myself I've learned a lot. This is Keep It Simple, and we'll see you next time. My name is Joan Dre. Again, this is Kyrie, hey. Azar, and Ishmael. Thank you. See you next time. Hey, that was real good. You did a great job. Thank you. You did a great job. You did a great job. You did a great job. You did a great job.